Hello and welcome to the episode. Yes, another new bike. And it is a KTM 390 Adventure. And I've just picked it up. So I'm going to jump to the moment I ride it at the showroom. Please join me and I'll explain why I purchased this motorcycle. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> this is cool. It's weird. I'm very high up. Very high up. First ride. This is the first ride on this KTM 390 Adventure. I didn't take it out beforehand. Crazy. I know. But I was just too excited. I saw it in the showroom and I wanted it. I wanted it. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, you change your bikes more than I've had hot dinners. I know. I know, I'm never satisfied. So, Ringer viewers know that I had a BMW GS1200. Didn't have it very long. So it was really, deep down, my, my goal, my dream bike. But when I got it, in reality, um, it wasn't really suitable for our little calf runs that we do and we wasn't going to be touring anytime soon because we got fairly young kids uh, not quite dependent enough yet on their own so we are going to smoke around the lanes of Norfolk and Suffolk on our little motorcycles my KTM 390 and Joe's 310 GS <laughs> so stop all the comments Oh, you can't have a bike for five minutes. How long is this going to last? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm having fun. And you can't beat the feeling of buying a brand new motorcycle. Yes, I'll probably lose money when I come to sell it later on. But it's brand new. It's brand new. And I know how it's been treated. So we have got that out of the way. So I'm going to chat about the bike and how it feels and then just enjoy this first ride and I would love for you to come along with me please subscribe for these little uh, videos me and my wife ride out do calf runs and I'll, I'd hope to do some uh, green lanes on this as well which I think would be cool so I brought the adventure version because for that for that reason it's taller it's, it's a bit more room on there for me and so far I'm very pleased with this I know I say that about every bike, but I I love anything with two wheels and an engine. I'm there. And it's kind of easy to pick out good points when you like something, when you own it. You don't focus on the negatives. I'm more of a positive kind of guy, and uh, I like to think positive. There were really no negatives on the GS, apart from it had done 40,000 miles. And obviously there's vibrations there that I'm paranoid about, because I'm in the trade as well. Uh, I just think about stuff that going wrong, breaking down. Although, to be honest, with the uh, reputation of KTM, probably uh, we got the comments saying I'm going to break down anyway on this. But anyhow, it's brand new. Uh, it's a virgin. I'm going to break that seal, and I want to be the person to do it. <laughs> so when I got it, when I wheeled it out of the showroom uh, just ten minutes ago, it had two miles on the clock. And I brought it from Dave Berkshire in Norwich, sort of Norfolk part of the of England. And I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the service. I've purchased four new bikes in my lifetime from showrooms. And that is probably the best, quickest, thorough transaction I've ever had of buying a new motorcycle. Highly recommend. Fantastic bunch of people. I literally looked at this last Saturday, put a deposit on it, he said it will be ready Friday. And it was quick as that, no hassle. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting things yesterday. <laughs> Boys and their toys can't wait. 
to get on their new motorcycle. I have, in the background, I've not mentioned it on the channel, I have been very interested in the KTM Adventure 390. It was when I tried Jody's GS310 and I used that for work, commuting, and I just thought this, you know what, this is a fantastic little bike. You can whiz in and out of traffic, it's nice and high up so you can see down the road and it's just all you need you're not going to lose your license on it and it's still got enough power to put a little grin on your face and i can have the option of taking it off-road so i used that for a week while my bike was sold and i just fell in love with it and i wanted something different you know i didn't want to get another G uh, gs and i've always fancied a K ktm i've never owned one yes so the bmw <laughs> has been sold I didn't lose the money on it. I've tried it, I've had one now, I can say I've had one. I will get one in the future, 100%. They are a fantastic machine for going around Europe on. For going, <laughs> you can go around the world on one. And I'm not gonna be doing any of those things anytime soon. I'm gonna have fun on this with my wife and smoke around and do some off-road shizzle. So let's talk about the bike. Haven't rode it. I knew I weren't going to be disappointed. There are thousands of positive comments and reviews on this motorcycle. Very, very popular motorcycle and a popular engine. I didn't buy the spoke version because I'm not a fan of tube tires because this that, uh, does come with tube tires. And um, I'm not going to be doing heavy off-road stuff. So I'm quite happy with the alloys. I will do some videos comparing the 310 GS. I need to spend more time with this KTM first. But so far, I am really happy with this. The riding position immediately. Like normally when you get on a bike, you know within the first few hundred yards whether you like the, the motorcycle. It's very inspiring. We've got slight vibrations in the pegs and the bars, but nothing as bad as what people say on YouTube. I'm used to vibrating motorcycles. What do you expect? It's a bloody motorcycle, it's gonna vibrate. So don't be put off by that, because I think I'm quite surprised how smooth this is. The seat is pretty firm, but quite supportive. It's quite a wide seat. One thing I didn't like about Joe's GS is that the seat cups your balls. <laughs> It sort of cups your buttocks and your balls, so you can't move around. So you're fixed position. So you, with this one, I can just move back and forth, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. Another bike that I was considering, other than the BMW GS 310, was the Husqvarna, or Husqvarna, Svartpilen 401. But I kind of like the off-road style a bit better that's more of like a neo retro style and a local dealership I wouldn't even walk in their door wouldn't even walk in the showroom door I've brought a motorcycle from them before and uh, never again never again so I'm not gonna mention any names but <laughs> those who live in the area know what dealership I'm talking about so the spark pillar wasn't really an option KTM dealership is 40 minutes away from my house why not why not a eh? team orange you know someone said to me recently the reason why KTM use orange is so you can find the parts that fall off down the road <laughs> it's a good job I'm a bloody mechanic, isn't it? I don't care about those things. These bikes have personality, they have character. Don't get me wrong, I love Hondas, but they are vanilla. They do everything too well. <laughs> and this is just something special, in it? Something special, and this is only a first ride. I don't know a lot about the bike yet, I'm learning it and I want to learn it with you lot and I want to discuss how I'm getting on with it along the way. 
so far dislikes with it immediately uh, I can't get it in neutral was a pain in the butt it's an absolute bitch to get in neutral I don't know how, if the uh, gearbox will loosen up a little bit later on but at the minute it's a fighting game trying to get it between one and two <laughs> and I don't like the exhaust muffler it looks very cheap and nasty but I can change that can't I I can change that I have done a lot of research on this as I do all motorcycles and the reason why I say Oh, this is the best bike I've ever ridden. It's because I don't pick bad motorcycles. I want them all, really. If I had enough money, I'd have one for every occasion. But you can have a blast on these little machines. And that's what I need in my life right now. A lightweight, fun, agile, quirky motorcycle so I am going to be on the dual carriageway in a minute thank you for joining me on this little episode and surprise surprise a new motorcycle <laughs> I don't disappoint on this channel do I but thanks for everyone that's been sticking around and following my crazy journey not everyone is the same and we stick with the same things but you know life's too short to worry about all that it's just that I'm documenting it on YouTube and uh, you can hear about it. I may be crazy, but I love motorcycles. So, hey ho. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please uh, stay tuned. Like the channel. Ah. Subscribe to the channel for more motorcycle content. Please like the video because it will help and it will boost my video up in the ratings. And uh, obviously, if I get more views, I'll get more encouragement to make content. Content will get bigger and better so it's all good so please like it and if you didn't like it please dislike the um, press the dislike button and let me know why there's nothing more frustrating than uh, receiving dislikes and not knowing why I, I want to improve if someone's not like the video or what you don't like about it let me know please tell me so that's all I've got to say really thank you for watching until then I've been Nick and we'll catch you on the next episode which will probably be a calf run with my my with Jody and I on a 310 and me in a KTM. Thanks for watching. See you later. <clears throat>